Misha Makes. Uh, this vlog is about a website called Pattern Trace. The lady who owns the company Pattern Trace called Fiona, she emailed me and asked me if I would like to do a vlog about her website and about the products that she has. And I said I'd happily do one. So anyway, she gave me, she sent me some samples and I said I would uh, show you what was uh, what I would do is I'm going to show you the website. I'm sure some of you may already have been on the website, on Pattern Trace website. If you haven't, then this is a little, uh, quite a good one to watch and it will show you all the things that are on there, which is a very interesting website. It's not, their website isn't about fabric, it's about everything else around it that is linked to sewing. And so I think you might find it quite interesting if you haven't had a look at the Patent Trace website yet. So I'll talk you through some of the things that they have. So here we are on the Patent Trace website. This is the home page and it shows you all the different little pictures of all the things that, it, that they do. So let me start with the first one. I think this is really good. I'm, I'm liking this one. And it's a custom garment label. You can get your own text on there and you can have it to, it's all printed on there for you. Four lines of text available. You can choose the style of, of font. And when you look at these, it will give you, if I go there, if I go to the first one, it tells you at the bottom, the fonts are Brittany and Open Sands. So the next one, it's Shadows into Light to and Open Sands. And then the next one is um, Oregano over the Rainbow Rubato. So you get an idea of what the fonts are. And you can get whatever you like on there. They give you some suggestions that you can have four lines and it suggests something like the pattern name, the date, the size, the care instructions, a message to the recipient or your own fashion brand label. And the dimensions are 90 by 45. So they're not small and they're 40 by 45 once they're, once they're folded. And what you do is here, you choose, go to your options and choose an option. You can have one label, five labels, 10, 20, or 50 labels. If you go for one label, it's 165. Five labels, three pounds. 10 labels, 450. 20 labels, seven pound. And 50 labels, 10 pound. I think that that's a really good price. I'm quite impressed by that and I think I'm going to go and order some for myself. You choose, you, you write what you want on your top line. It gives you four lines to fill in if you want to fill in the four. And on each one, you choose which font you want on, want on each, each one. Then once you fill that in, you can give any other special instructions and then you add it to your basket. And we come to the next one. These are really good as well. Great for PDFs because, you know, a lot of us wonder what how we should store our PDFs. These are envelopes they're bigger than a4 so they will take pdfs they'll take your ao printed patterns that you get done and they're really good you can stick your picture on there they're all printed out you write on what you want and any other information you want to put on the outside they've got a spine like that they're actually pleated but it's a spine like that so you can actually write something on the side there in this case uh you can see the little inward pleat there and um they just fit in nicely and you've got a pattern archive there and you put all your patterns inside it'll hold them all it's not got double side on the, on the envelope so you can t stick it down with temporary tape and you can use some color coding if you don't want to write any numbers on on the side but i think that's another good idea and the prices for that is five if you go for five envelopes it's 740 if you go for 10 envelopes it's 13 pound and go up to 30 envelopes you've got 26.50 if you're getting your patterns printed it's a good way of looking after them then we have labels now this is a label called made with love and underneath it says swear words so this is made with love swear words and it says made with love and then swear words underneath so that's not bad for eight labels then we have foundation paper now i haven't um, this is for people who quilt and make foundation paper quilting, paper piecing. I've never done this before and I've seen a few people, when I look on Instagram, there's a few people put them up and they look quite interesting. A pack has a hundred sheets. They're semi-transparent so you can see through them to place your fabrics. 
It, you can print on your inkjet and your laser. It has a rough texture to it and you can easily glue to it. And you have, free with every foundation paper purchase, our Rainbow Mountain Tub Pattern, which is brilliant for beginners. I'll show you the Rainbow Mountain Tub Pattern in a, in a second. Your choices are one pack, three packs, five packs, or one pack plus fabric glue. Your one pack with glue is £16.10. Your one pack on its own is £11.90. If you want to see what the mountain one is, let's go back here, scroll down, and it's further down. There's your mountain tube, a pattern piece one. Normally £4.50, but if you buy the foundation paper, then it's you get it for nothing. That is a cool bag that you could make with it, storing your threads or your crochet or whatever you like. It's quite a good first, if you're like myself and you've never done it before, it's uh, it's quite a good starter one. It looks like it's going to be a good starter one. So let's go back up to the next one to the top. We then have your quarter ruler, which is great for quilting or for adding that quarter edge around the outside. I won't go into these in great depth. You've got button savers. You get um, 20 button savers, 20 button savers. They're safety pins, but by golly, how many of us have lots of little buttons that if you go pouring through the, uh, the little box of buttons all the time, you can never find what you want. So these, you can organize your colors. You can organize the, the beads onto those, the, the buttons onto those, all of the different colors. That's a good one. And the price is only £2.50, so you're not going to be breaking the bank with it. Then you have a hot hemmer, and that's good for when those of you who uh, want to measure, exact measure the turn up of your hem, then you can turn this and use this. It's heat resistant, and it's very good for getting, making sure that your hem's the same all the way around. Then you have a scissors set, and the scissors set is £23. You get um, a 23 centimeter fabric scissors and 10 centimeter thread snips not a bad gift for somebody who's um who you know somebody who's starting or a little birthday present or a present of some sort a valentine's present for somebody you love you never know now this one i like but i don't know what i would do with it it's washi tape and it's in the tape measure form and I think that's quite good. I suppose what they've shown there is they're using it to tape um, tape the maker's workbook. You can put it on there or you can use it on your back of your envelopes. It's a good idea. I quite like that. And I would imagine with it being washi tape, you can peel it back off again. I'd be tempted to buy one of those and they're only £2.45. Then you've got your press fattener jig, which uh, is £8. Your black and white sole set for 11.30. Now, what does that include? That includes four 100 metre reels of white thread and 300 metre reels of black thread. Then we go down and we have a chalk liner. Now, I have a yellow one like this and they're really good. They are, um, they've got little teeth on the edge there. It's a little wheel that has teeth on. You put your chalk powder in and you roll it along. And it draws a lovely line on the on your fabric there. Once you've tried a chalk or chalk liner, you'll never go back to Taylor's chalk. The plastic tube is filled with chalk dust, leaving a fine, precise line from the tiny wheel. It's a really cool gadget, and it's only five ninety five. Then we have a fabric swatch book, which is sixteen pounds. Fiona has sent me some samples of what she sells. She asked me if I could, if I'd like, if there's anything I'd like to have, uh, anything I'd like to show you. I said that I would like in the main to show you the actual books because um, I thought they, were, they looked as if they were really good. And so the first one that she sent me was the fabric swatch book. And that's the fabric swatch book. It's an A5, really nice, hard hard book and inside you have cards lots of cards and I'll take one out to let you see what it's like nice firm clip that feet that you get in and out there's the card fabric swatch it says fibers fabric weight source and stashed so obviously the fibers whether it's man-made or polyester or whatever you want the fabric what which fabric it is 
the weight of it. Some people like to know the weight of the fabric, the source, who did you buy it from, and um, stashed. Probably where have you stashed it? I would say that this is probably something not for what you've made, but when you, because we have so much fabric, we can't remember whether we've, what we've got. And so when you get yourself some fabric, make a little piece, stick a little piece on there. You'd have to stick it with double sided tape or something or, or staple it on. And then you write down all the information. You can also put the, the length of, that you've got and the width that you've got somewhere, put the length and the width wherever you like, and where you've stashed it, because sometimes you don't even remember what you've got. I've got a box full of, of fabric, and I keep forgetting about it. It's like an, an Ottoman box that I have in my conservatory, and I keep forgetting about it, and then I suddenly think, what's in that box? And I've got loads of fabric in there. I've got three metres of denim, I've got... Um, chambray I've got all sorts that I completely forgot that I had so if you have this and you have all your little fabric swatches on this then you can quickly flick through and see what fabric there is and once you've maybe uh, used it your little bit of washi tape could go on there just to indicate that you've used that fabric and it's nice to know that it's there that you know the, or you can even say how much you've got left because the one thing that I find is that sometimes I buy five meters or I buy three meters and I don't always use the, you know all the fabrics if I put how much I bought supposing I say I put three meters of it and I've only used two and a half then I could put here I've got half a meter left so if I'm doing another project I can decide whether that half a meter is going to be worth having so this is a real good fabric reminder of what you've got and believe me ladies as you get older you need some fabric reminding <laughs> we have an awful lot I thought I had a lot till I kept I, when it when we were clearing out the the um all the equipment from from the business his lordship looked at my stuff and said my god you've got a lot so every time i go on instagram and i see videos of other people with a lot more i go you think i've got a lot look at that and he goes my god when are they going to use them so i so i think that's a handy little book to have the price is as i said before it's 16 pounds that's not a bad price then you have a maker's workbook which is for quilting and the Maker's Workbook is another cool pro product if you are a quilter. Uh, let's go along the pages. It tells you about HST calculator for squares, binding calculator. It's got grids for making your own quilt patterns. And um, it's got my quilting projects. And you've got information there that you can add to it. Your details and all your it's just a, a nice little quilting book and that is 13.25 then we'll go back down to uh we've got fabric glue you've got a making backpack uh, you've got a sandhill sling backpack this let me just look at these backpacks and it is a pattern it's the paper pattern version includes the instruction booklet with step-by-step -step instructions. So you've got this backpack pattern, which is quite a cool one with handles that you can make. And then you've got um, the Sandhill Sling Backpack, which is another good one. That's for over your shoulder. I love things that go over your shoulder like that. I quite like that one. That's rather trendy, rather nice. I do most of my bags go over my shoulder in what in some way that I don't have to that it keeps my hands free especially as you get older then you've got um, a maker's workbook for sewing she sent me the way the waker's waker's workbook <laughs> his lordship does that he always turns the words around the other way the waker's workbook <laughs> <laughs> or in English work, in English terms, the Maker's Workbook. And that's the Maker's Workbook. So again, it's an A5 size. On the back is a tape measure on the back. And um, you can actually put what number your volume is if you've got more, if you end up having more than one. And if we go through it, you've got your contents. So you can write down all your contents of what you've got. Don't forget, this is a Maker's Workbook. So your project, your first project, this is handy for people who are regularly sewing so you can find out what, you're, what you've got. If I can find the back page like that there. Your first project, in, and it has 
the pattern, the date, made for, whoever it's made for, the body measurements, the pattern size, notes and pattern modifications. I always forget to do that and you often say to me, did you have to modify it? And uh, did you have to modify something? And sometimes I know what I've modified at the time. I don't write it down when I do it. If I make the same pattern again, I think, oh, I forgot that I had done this and I forgot that I'd done that. So modifications are handy. You can put your fabric swatch on there, your verdict and next time. Next time, will I do that one? If I do that one, make the art make the sleeve shorter or do do something else and um, it says too many ideas and not enough time then the next page this goes on another one they keep putting little sayings on here i won't go through all of them but you've got quite a few pages like that that are for for doing your projects and then when you come to the end you've got designing and there's a designing label your designing tab and in the designing you've got the drawing you can you can choose what you, you know sometimes some people want to design their clothes on how they change you know on, on changing the style a bit and those are are they on both sides no on one side you have the uh the figures which you can add your designs to and on the other side is a um a squared grid so you can do add what you want to that and then after that you have another tab which says planning and in planning you have a stash list you can write down what your stash list is the color the pattern and the piece size so this is probably can work very well with the other one where you've you've got how much stash you've got left and this gives you an idea what your stash list is and then so you've got here stash list then this one's stash list on two pages on three pages stash list on three pages and then the next one is projects in waiting so these are things that you have planned to do so i think that this would be handy you know how we all have a make nine a lot of people on instagram have a make nine that they want to do in the year well, this would be quite good to do your make nine and you we although we do make nine we also make a lot of other things so you could put your make nine there that you're going to do and then you can do all your other little things that you do and this could be for 2022 volume one could be 2022 volume two could be 2023 and it's quite good because this is a this is a piece of nostalgia for looking back on and for not just for you looking back on but for your children and your grandchildren to see what grandma made or what mummy made or what or what oh my daughter made that or my granddaughter made that so it's a handy little book like that to keep all the information of what they've made and i'm sure they will look back at it and and you know enjoy what enjoy reading it now after the reference one which we've just done where it says projects and waiting there is an sorry after the planning there's a reference and if we go to the reference we have sewing machine needle sizes so that's handy tells you what the size of the needle should be and what the fabric should be this would be a great book for a beginner sewer or for someone a granddaughter or a daughter or someone who's sewing or even for yourself because i I use needles all the time. I do know of all of them, but uh, it's sometimes handy as a reference. Sewing machine needles purposes, the metric conversion. This caters for everything. And then there's a back page where you can put your own notes on. So I think that is a highly recommendable book. And um, you record all your sewing projects, create a lasting record that you can refer back to all time. Again, that's 1325. That is another good one then um you have quilting bundle where you get the uh quilt, quilting bundle you get the maker's workbook your pack of foundation paper and your pack of quilting clips then you have your stitch and picker your spool thread and pods you know the little the little spools at the bottom and your ordinary threads a label tin for your uh, for all your labels then you've got labels for circa 2022. These are quite cool to have on your uh, labels by, um, oh, watch Kylie and the Machine. 
and 10 gorgeous woven clothing labels that you can put onto um, onto your garment. Just little strips. It's not the round circle, it's the strips. And they say circa 2022. So that's a good one for to be able to see when you made the actual garments. Then you have a leather hand make. If you, some people like to put leather labels on. You have a needle store, which is this, where you put all your needles into a little box. And you can, you've got a little, isn't that cool? You've got a little pad there that's on the inside and your, pin, your needles go on there. That's really good. And then you, you have all your labels, your, you have all your needles in different batches and you've got a card there. It comes with a set of stickers with the most common needle types and sizes, mix and match to suit your collection. And read our needle guides to our guide to needle sizes and types. It's twenty nine centimeters by eight and a half, and it costs nine pound ninety. That's quite good as well. Then you have pattern trace Swedish tracing paper. The one thing that I was going to show you was the Swedish tracing paper, and unfortunately, I don't know where I've put it. It was, I could have put my, I keep, this, this is, this has become a common occurrence. I say to his lordship, when this stuff was in that room, I knew exactly where it was and I can put my hand on it and it's there, but I don't know where it's gone to now. He's been moving stuff around and I don't know where it is. I have a roll of Swedish, Swedish tracing paper. It's soft. It's like interfacing. It's very soft. You can tear it carefully, but not not badly. Not it doesn't it doesn't tear easily, and it trace. It's got a rough texture to it. So when you're tracing it, your your, your pencil isn't slipping. It's really going on the paper really well, and um, I I use it a lot because I find it really handy for tracing things. Um, it's not like I've had other tracing papers. I've got the Berda tracing paper, which is very thin and very nice, but this this Swedish tracing paper is something different. All I can say is it's like a very fine interfacing and it's quite good. You can uh, you could use it for all sorts of things. So um, yes, I wish I could show you it, but I can't. But it's a lovely, it's really good. Not cheap, but well worth getting if you wanted to use some, if you want something substantial. And it actually folds up, when you fold it up, it folds nice and flat as well. Then you have your spool pod bundle, your sewing bundle where it's your maker's workbook and your pattern trace, some more labels, perfectly imperfect, your swatch book inserts, your size me, size you labels, your gift voucher, your foundation paper and piecing bundle with a ruler. Then you have your bundle of sewing stationery and going down you have your look after me labels with the washing instructions one of a kind backpack hardware so it helps you with your back you've got the equip the stuff for your backpack your maker's workbook book bundle and your maker's workbook bundle is your two of the maker's book workbooks at a discounted price in the special bundle you could buy for yourself and your friend or yourself and your mother or or just two for yourself you could get one quilt and one and one dress make one sewing so you you can have a sew and a quilt so there you go that's that one and then let's go down to number page two and page two has more hardware anti made it then a book sewn tote and back pack the book sewn tote is like that this is the pattern for it so you can make your own book so i think that's quite nice that's neat where it's a shoulder if you're going if you've got kids or grandkids and you're carrying all their stuff you can carry that on your back um and then you've got cotton webbing cotton webbing comes in handy a crescent tote pattern the backpack range backpack then a garment planner notepad um, the Garmin Planner and this is a little pad, it's a little notepad with some sheets on and it says um, Garmin Planner, you put the pattern and the size, your information there, you've got little tick, mark, tick boxes that you can use there and uh, you can say what interfacing you need, what elastic, what zip, what snap, thread, needles and so on and that is a handy one for writing down what you're going to do 
and we all have the fabric but sometimes we don't always have the information like interfacing and stuff so you can then take that off and use it and put, take it put it in your handbag go to the shop top yourself up or even going online if you're an online buyer making uh, making sure you've ordered everything that goes with it and tick it off that's a good little one to a handy one to have and then you could always use the back of the page if you do use it if you do finish it off you could even use the back of the page to write your comments about what you thought the pattern was like when you created it so that is the garment planner little notepad that you've got pepin tote pattern oh well i could go on and on tape sewing clips tape measure cutters these are fantastic i, I highly recommend these washi tape who doesn't want washi tape i never know what to do with it but i do like it <laughs> and there's more washi tape there you have these pins now i've told you about these in one of my past vlogs these are ergonomic pins i like them because i have i'm noticing i'm not getting as much feeling in the end of my fingers and i find those are easier to pick up than some of the ones with the balls on because the, the your finger goes into that little hollow there you can pinch it up easier then you've got hello gorgeous handmade me made Oh, you name it, you've got it. What more washi tape, more labels, and along the bottom, needles and leather needles and more hardware. So if we go up to the top, I'm going to go to quilting. I, I shall just point out what's in the quilting one. And then in the bag making, all the bags that we've covered will be there. And then the foundation piecing, all the information. You can even learn how to foundation piece. Let's have a look at that. It actually tells you economy square block and it tells you how to do foundation piecing. So that's a good starter one for you there. Goes through all the details of foundation piecing. Then you have newsletter and the newsletter, ask, sign up for that and it'll keep you in touch with what there is. And free resources. And here's the free resources. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. The free projects I will look at. And the free projects are a fractured pouch project. So that's obviously with foundation piecing. That's rather nice, that. A triangular pouch project. Hold your little clips in. That's a good idea. Then you have a project pouch project. So you could put your projects in there. And then your maker's box tutorial. That's quite good, that. I quite like that. And it's free. Well, that's not bad, you know. Then a pin cushion project for someone who's just beginning. And this cushion one, if you've got spare fabrics, a sampler cushion project. And lastly, a spool pod pouch project. Oh, and it's not lastly, because there's modern bunting. And look at the modern bunting. So there's such a lot to look at in this on pattern trace. And I'm sure that if you have a look, there's bound to be something you really fancy buying. So I'm going to leave you there. And um, I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed looking at this. I hope I haven't bored the pants off you, but I can highly recommend the Pattern Trace website. So, so I'll leave you there. Catch you next time. Bye.